I got a question for you. If there was a serial killer called the Whistling Man, and every time you heard his whistle, like that, he'd get closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to you. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you guys all back to the Killer Frequency. This game is so good that I'm actually about to miss a movie to play this game. I have a movie that I have to go catch in literally 45 minutes and I'm about to miss it. I'm watching the new Spider-Man movie, but I really wanted to come out here and actually finish playing this game. If you guys don't know much about this game, by Riley, I really highly recommend you watch part one because basically we're like this radio show host and we're helping people fight the serial killer called the Whistling Man. Here we go, continue. Where did we leave off? Ooh, I like this loading screen. A little interesting. And you're still all shrouded okay. in mystery. Yup, yeah, what's up? Okay, uh, what do you want to know? All right, shoot. What do you want to know? So Peggy, this Question is Peggy. One. Tell me about your family. What? <laughs> Come on, Peggy. Okay. That's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Mm. No, that's too specific. Throw these over there. Too specific? Okay. Put this over here. Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, no, that's I'm a little sorry, dark. Forrest. Uh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. You're sorry. Why did you do it? Uh, don't be sorry. I'm not. Don't be sorry. I'm not. Oh. Anyway. What about you? Any siblings? Your mm -hmm. mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Ah. Uh, oh, what happened there? Oh. Oh, what a coincidence. Huh. What a coincidence. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. This is the most interesting my part of the game. My dad walked out when I was about 13. No, I'm just playing. He'd been a wreck Damn. for a while. Your dad walked out? And he got himself into a wreck. Well, hey, 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 that was dad. Hey, nobody cares, Peggy. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Let me see what Peggy looks like. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long. After she's not that. even talking. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call she's me not Peg. Even, she's not even talking. Sorry, I was just trying to be. Okay. It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. It's okay. Take Any this mug to your head. Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Stop the music. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Me? You sure you don't want to go? Yeah. Can't while we're on air. One of Reggie's KFAM regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Okay. Where's the key? Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. Oh, she left it out here. Thank you. Key found. Second floor stairway. Well, guys, there's a serial killer. What is this? Hold on. All right, there's a kill, a serial killer. I can't even talk because I'm nervous. Guys, there's a serial killer loose on town, and you want me to go see who's knocking on the door? Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea, especially to the radio host where I just helped that man escape, <laughs> and this serial killer knows I'm in here. Oh my God, guys, what's up here? What is that noise? Y'all heard that? Oh my god. Hello? A tape. Oh, this Play is the door. On air. Okay. Alright, no jump scare. 
cool. Wow. Well, I'll tell you something. The serial killer is definitely here. Hey, Peggy, you still here? Close the door. Close, the, close this door. Hold on. Who was there? I didn't Nobody. See who was. Are they still out there? Nope. No. They left as soon as I went down there. Let's play they pushed it. a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Put it on, I guess. Let's see what it is. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. This what? I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? Play it again. I. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Oh, uh, be careful, Gallo Creek. Folks, the. Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. The serial killer is coming to get you! Or why that came through our door with the killer locked up, but be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Give us a call if you need help. You can get us on 911. Oh my god. I really wanted to play it again. Hmm. Hey, we had a call come in. Oh, sorry. I uh, I don't know what happened. Collar, you're on 189.16 The Scream with F Ash. Shut up and listen to me. Mr. Are Russell, you? what's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen. He's gone. The whistling man is gone. Okay, I know that cuz he just showed up. So he did escape. So the he just showed up and left the set. tape. He really did escape. You mean you knew he escaped and you didn't tell me? We only just found out. We weren't even sure it was him. Mr. Russell, where are you now? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies. We came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. Okay. The door was shut just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks and, well, there was a bunch of us and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. Hmm. I don't blame you. Did you let him escape? That's shameful. I don't blame you. I would have been tempted to do the same. Have you both got a screw loose? You know what the whistling man's done tonight. Hmm. This was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... All right. Yeah, then? Then nothing. The room was empty. Well, that explains the, the tape that showed up on my driveway. Locked. Or, sorry, How my front door. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure it was still locked? I'm telling you, it was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then... Don't be ridiculous, Peggy. Do you think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? Do you think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? Maybe. It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? Mooney. There's no way. Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. I said baloney. Look, I don't want anything more to do with this. Okay. I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. No, guy. Guys, don't. He seems really spooked. Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer yeah. who turned out to be a demonic spirit? <sighs> He's not Bobby. a demon, Peggy. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? Uh, mm, 1.04 a.m. Damn, I was about to hit my basketball shot. All right. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. What? The bagger at hey, the grocery store it. cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick Damn, break. I'm hitting these shots. This one's In the first episode, I wasn't doing there, nothing. Keeping the hatches battened. Damn. All right, what's the quick break? What's up? Oh, wait, sorry, music, right? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm slacking, I'm slacking. I know I am. All right, uh, should I introduce the song? Nah. All right, Peggy, what's up? 
I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. What? You stop. You stopped the show for a tape. You stopped the show for a tape. Just go get it. All right, bro. Hold on. What if? What if you're setting me up, Peggy? All right. Yo, I don't trust this girl. Play it. Wait. Hold on. Open it. There you go. Put it in. Damn. That, what? Wait, remove this one. Play me on air? Well, guess what, buddy? <laughs> guess where your tape is going? <laughs> right here. Wait. No, no, no. Hold on. Where? Whistling man, come get your tape. Ain't nobody want to hear this weak-ass, cassette-ass tape. Come get it. Come get it. Yeah, come kill me, too. Kill my mans, too. They're right here watching. Kill them. Right there. They watching right there. They looking right through me. Kill them. Right there. Don't kill me. Kill them. Right there. Them. Bitch ass niggas looking for me. Come yeah, kill my yeah. motherfucking cousin. He think he's so tough. Come kill him before you niggas get me. No, do what you did. Cry, cry. That's what the fuck no. they gonna do to you. No, no, no. Fuck all that. Like I said, we ain't doing no giveaway. No, 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 none no, of that no, shit. No, we giving away his life. Or try or call again. Straight to voicemail. My God. Are there any professionals at KFAM? Damn. This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. Okay. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank. I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Nate, you all right? Don't worry about Gina. You know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. Okay, I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest. You know, Roddy Snatcher. I don't care who it is. They're not finna disrespect me like that. I don't care. Let me see your album. Roddy Snatcher, The Late, late Night, right? This one, right? If you dare, is it this one? Ah, uh, big Roddy fan. Are you a big fan of Roddy? I love Roddy. I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god. I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. I, I don't know. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. Uh, they and, mailed uh, it to okay. K-Fam, not to me. Then I it's gotta be downstairs it. at reception. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well... If that fiasco last wait, Friday, wait, about wait, the wait. Knife I'm the radio music host. Track is any indication? Folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Wait. Wait, I'm the radio host. I don't know. I'm supposed to leave this office. Go we'll get it, you, Peggy. This is the part where I die, y'all. Where am I going? He's behind his desk. On oh, my mother, he is. On oh, my mama, he's behind his desk. Who is here? On oh, my mama, he's behind that desk. How the hell you get back here? I ain't bugging out. My man's is somewhere here, bro. Yo, the whistling man, remember how I said to kill them? Right there? Where am I going? I'm at the reception office. Need the key. Where's the key? Oh my god, all right. I'm 
going to get a key. Hey, yo. Ho. Where's the key? Hold on. Where the key at? Where the key? Yo, I got a movie to catch. Come on. Man, I'm staying. I ain't no way I'm this stupid. But here's the thing, right? Like, they said something about a key. Or maybe they didn't say anything about a key. Yo, the wishing man. I'm here for a tape called The Final Breath. And they said it's at the receptionist's office. So it's somewhere over here. And I'm going to find it. I did not mean to click that. Friday. Hey. What was that noise? Oh, wait. Final breath. Right here. This must oh. be it. Final breath. My tiny selection grows. Let's go. Okay. I have a hard feeling he's going to be here. All right. My booty hole is safe today. No jump scare from the whistling man. Yo, Peggy, anything else, man? Just, yo, I, I was already down there, so I ain't never going back down there again, okay? Until the police come. Found it. Hey, did you get it? Yeah. Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much Wait, needed Wait, where's the treat. tape? Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Where is it? I, I picked it up. I ain't no way I dropped it. Yeah, wait. The, the tape gotta be over here. Like, in my inventory. How do I... Hold on. How do I pick up my... Uh, where's the, you know, the inventory? Where's the tape? Oh, did I put it over here? The final night? Oh, it's in here. Wait, why would it? Why would they put it back in here? The final breath. Damn. Why would they put it in there? You know? Wow. God, Roddy's the best. Put your hands down. He is. And put your freaking hands. What's he doing this for? Safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Whew. Wow, I actually wanted to listen to it. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. Oh. I really hope it's nothing serious. Hello? Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Sure. Uh... Let me go ahead and press that right there. Boom. Evening Just caller, like this yep. is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream, <clears throat> and tonight's 911 stand-in. This is Murphy. <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Nobody cares about your son. He's free today. Nobody and cares. Man, being his daddy has changed my life. Nobody cares. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Yeah, we sure care about Fernando. Yep. Ha, uh, we're night to celebrate. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. Mm-hmm. You think you're tough. Man with a big knife. Huh? Ruben, come face me, a true warrior at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Guess what? All right, this is a bad idea, Murphy, but you know what? I ain't gonna stop you. Let him come kill you, because, hey, I ain't, at least I ain't got to worry about him. This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's Dojo series. Whistling man, you just let loose the junkyard dog. Oh no! <sighs> no, he's gonna yeah, die, and we're gonna witness it. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become 
Our no, he's gonna be the hometown dummy. Although, having heard that Master Robbie, my man is gonna die. Uh, well, don't get your hopes up too much. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Hey, uh, commercial. All right, let's play them a little commercial. Wait, wait, put. Hold on. Why isn't it going in there? Hold on. There you go. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, sure. Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good Is there anything place else I can do in the family. meantime while we listen to this ad? Unlike current mayor Linda Cartwright, Damn. Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Maybe Creek. Maybe I can go out? He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Uh, nah. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, mm, traffic now. Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into oh, you can't even go that far with it. That's crazy. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't um, believe in keeping East Side Street will be closed from second to ninth. Teddy November, Gallows September Jr. believes in the American dream. Uh, second to ninth. Cartwright? Residents will be only able to Teddy access Gallows the connected Jr. Keep between Gallows Raj Creek Avenue and Haddonfield Road. Help him become mayor. Interesting. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Right. Yeah, sure. Bitch, we all live. You can't be fucking up like caller. that. Who's got their vote? We got a caller. You know what to do. All right. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Who is this? <sighs> Are you okay? Do you need help? Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Okay, listen, Collar. Don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. Um. A few times already? So, you saved them? Or? Yeah. We sure did. You're in safe hands. Okay. Okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, caller? I'm Dr. Sullivan of Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Please How do you mess up those me two? Die. Sullivan and I won't. Virginia? Just calm down. Tell where me is the where the correlation right now. What's your address? What do you want me to do? Like, um, can you call a neighbor? Can you run away? Can you hide? Maybe you can hide in your house. He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Okay, um, yo, yo, I don't know if it's smart if we should be doing this on live. Call a neighbor? Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. There's just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house. Wasted. Oh God. Yeah. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? It's. Oh God. I can't think. I, I can't. Well, say it, Dan. Frat might be Peggy. If I knew where she was, I might know. But wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Wow, you you fucked. Uh, don't be a child. Try to remember. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. I can't do this. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia. <laughs> oh, uh, wait. While we try to figure out what I, I was actually order, going to save her, but for your own midnight snacks. Yep. Hey. No, and I and toast to hey, Virginia. What places do hey. you take out in Gallows Creek? Cheers, y'all. Oh, my head. May uh, she rest well. in peace. There's the barbecue place, grilling spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Okay. Oh, and of course we have Ponte's Pizza. That's it, I think. Hmm. 
I was gonna call All him. Right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. Okay. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys order from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. This might. Okay, I better get to it. Let's not waste any time then. That's the spirit. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. Aw, your mama went for I'll just slide it under my door now. Your mama Thanks, way, boy. Do I really have to do all that? God, where to start? What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? Hmm. We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or... Uh... <sighs> I just have to look around. My bubble guts. My guts is already twirling in my stomach. This is not good. We need food related. What is that noise? I gotta make sure no one's in this room. Okay, I'll start from the back and move our way forward. Okay. Food, food, food. Food. Nothing. Alright. Alright, nothing, nothing, nothing. Huh. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I gotta go down to that kitchen, don't I? Go gals high, I guess. Ooh. Don't care. Craft and work. Ah, we really gotta go down, huh? You know what? I couldn't find anything. So we're going to the kitchen. Wish me luck. Because I'm gonna need it. There's a serial killer down here in town. And he's most likely gonna eat my booty. Alright. Here we go. Anybody in here? Somebody was here. I'm looking for things to call. People to call. Rooting through trash. This is a new low. Ooh. Interesting offer. Hmm. 555 five, five, nine, seven, two, two, seven, eight, nine. Anything else? Oh, I kind of need this, huh? Huh. Somebody else must have ordered something. Okay. I think that's it. Sorry, I'm out here just doing things. I know it's very rude of me, but... Wait a second. This little cocksucker's in here. I feel it. I just feel it. Nah, I think we're good. Hey, find anything useful? Yeah. 
Um. Yes, I'm yes, ready. Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Uh, yes. Let's make the call. Time to turn the music off. Sorry. Okay, Forrest. What'll right, it be? Right, I forgot. Um. Well, I only got one place. Ah, uh, but let's start with um. Call drilling spray. Okay. Wow. Okay, so I think you only need one item. The Grill Reaper is on the line. Oh, okay, that's perfect. Works for me. You're through the grilling spree. We've got barbecue you'll die for. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, can I just have your order? Damn, sorry. I want ribs, big ribs, for my frat house, brothers. Right. And where'd you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Same address. All right. We'll get it to you soon. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? A note? Okay. You better tip for this. Bet I'm finna tip you with something else. And, and it ain't gonna wait. be money. <laughs> we should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to All right. the delivery workers. Let's go. Actually, let's change it out. There you go. Hey. We about to have the frat boys call KFAM. 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 Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No. Wh where would you actually eat? Oh. I mean, they're all pretty equal. Equal, awfully equally good? You mean equally good? Yeah. Not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right. So between grilling spree and chalupa cobras. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. All right. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Um, this is Dudley from the Brotherly Fraternity of Engineers. Um, I have a note to call you. Oh, yeah. Hey, weird question. Uh, but you aren't the only ones on your street tonight, are you? No, sir. I think everyone on the street is in tonight. Uh, yappers. Uh, I just visually confirmed it. Yappers? Uh, I see cars in the driveways and a couple of lights on. Uh, everyone's in. So uh, she lied. Oh. And you've not been throwing a loud party all night, have you? I certainly hope we haven't disturbed our neighbors. Uh, why do you ask, sir? Forrest, we have a new call coming in. Wait. Forrest, line two. Hello, you're live on 189.16. Why would she lie about neighbors being out? Forrest, it's the whistling man. He's at the door. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's you, isn't it? Damn it, Peggy. This scheme was never gonna work. This was your idea. Really, Forrest? You're blaming me for this? The plan was fine. Guys. You just sent it to the wrong place. Hey, I tried my best. To everyone listening, I know things look bad, but please don't lose faith. So I messed we up? We will stop this whistling man. And I think Virginia may have just given us the clue we need. <sighs> what was that about Clive I didn't talk? Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive. It was the wrong but neighborhood. Your guess is as good as mine. I'm All fucking right, stupid. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. Clive. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Hello, caller. You're live on the screen. We don't care, bro. Me, this Forrest whole real life. Shut up. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find oh, this go. all horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our You're about to have a self-promo self here. Terrible. Hey, buddy. <sighs> I hear you there. 
I'm it's about to hang up if you say your business name. Gallows Creek. Ain't no free promotion. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. Look. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe, family-friendly place. Hmm. Oh, what small business do you own? You sure are up late. I guess you must love we the work. We never ask him. That's free oh, promo. Oh, I sure do. You know, we're at it all day, every day. And that includes major holidays we've got coming up. Look at this. Halloween. Look at this and South promo ass. He getting to it. He, he buttering it's up the biscuit. What is your business anyway? I'm not even going to ask, but I know he want me to ask. So I'm going to ask. What is your business I'm glad anyway? you asked. Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion. Oh, what did I say? Since you asked, it's Ponte's Pizza. Get your ass out. Hang up. Hang up. Hang up. Hang up. Look, 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 look. We even got his. Damn it, Ponte. No. No free ads. Bro, I already knew it. I already knew it. I wonder what would have happened My man's got that free promo. Instead. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. Okay. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hi. Hello? Am I on air? Sure, our caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Mm -hmm. Name's Eugene Stein. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. Mm hmm. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show, looking up at the stars and waiting for her. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. We plan to get lost in the maze maze tonight. She's not coming, Take buddy. Take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Go home to your parents, buddy. She's not coming. She dubbed you. She's getting her back blown out by a whole nother man. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead. It is what it is. Actually, but, uh... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Hang on. I hear some rustling. I guess she came after all. Molly! I'm in the middle! It'll take a little while to get here, but, uh... Thanks again, Forrest. It's been good talking. Oh, wait a second. Molly can't whistle. Oh my god. Do you know the way out? Eugene, do you know the way out? It wouldn't be the maze maze if he could just remember the way, Forrest. She's right! I- Listen, Eugene. Breathe. Hide. And call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I- I'll do it for Molly. Oh, well, Molly. Please, hurry! What? Well, listeners. While Peggy and I deliberate, Here's a track for all you lovers out there. Okay, why now? No. How the hell am I supposed to get him through the maze maze? You know Barbara, our receptionist? She's yeah. a maze maze fanatic. Shame she isn't here. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. Okay. Maybe we, Maybe should, call we Barbara? should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has Maze Maze stuff somewhere. Okay. Go and see what you can find. All right, you know what? That'll hopefully be enough. Okay. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. Right. Uh, right, right. First, I've seen you speak to her. Okay. <sighs> Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. Okay. All right. You know what? We're going to say right Never there again. Never does any work. All right. Listen. Barbara, we're going to explore her office. 
in the next episode. If you guys want to see another episode, I've been playing for like mm, 45 minutes. I'm not going to lie to you. This is getting very, very freaky. Guys, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Please help me get out of this when I see y'all again. Help me.